Oh, it does a little bit, yeah. This, this is the first time I've actually had the opportunity to play uh, Henley. Um, a lot of tradition here, and obviously seeing the cricket ground, it's um, yeah, it's pretty impressive. So I, I know all the boys are really excited to be over here and be able to play you know, against Leeds at, at this place. Um, although we've we've had some success at Allen Road, um, you know, we know it's the same size pitch. Um, you know, we're playing at night; it's going to be a pretty pretty uh, intense atmosphere. But you know, the boys are excited about the occasion and looking forward to getting out there on Friday. Some clubs probably don't look forward to coming over here. Some clubs have won the competition, but we do. We think it's, uh, it's a great experience for our, our younger players, especially to come over and play over here, but it's also a great life experience. A lot of them you know, haven't been over here before. So uh, we certainly look, look at it in a real positive light. Having said that, you know, the, the travel certainly knocks your preparation around. It takes a lot of uh, training days out of your calendar. So, um, you know, because again, you can't sort of train or do too much you know, a couple of days before you get on the plane. You can't do too much a couple of days after you get off the plane. So that's, that's both ways. So uh, it does take an effect of your preparation for the start of the competition. We just got to be careful of trying to, <clears throat> trying to add in all these new competitions and, and new matches. Because the way the game's going at the moment, um, you know, in the NRL and in the Super League, it's getting faster and faster. You know, guys getting bigger and stronger, and it's taking its toll on players. So, um, if you want to see, you know, the, the the elite players in the game for a long time, then I don't think you want to be tampering too much with workloads and adding games here and there. And